Now, as we just discussed, the actual cleaning properties of this water is quite important because typically, you know, when we go out and, and buy our fruits and vegetables or if we go to a good food store uh, to anywhere natural and buy something organic, a lot of times we'll take those and we will wash them under the sink. That's not such a good thing here. I'm going to run some more tap water just to show you what we have in our tap water. Now, we're going to run a little bit different test here. We're actually going to test the chlorine, the amount of chlorine that we have in this, in this tap water. We'll put four drops there. We'll go ahead and stir this up. And that yellow color, you can see, is a ton of chlorine. That is a, that is a lot of chlorine. And of course, that chlorine's put in there, I guess, to protect us. But I certainly don't want to put this chlorine into my body. A typical uh, glass uh, of chlorinated water, you know, if you take a shower, a 15-minute shower, you're going to absorb anywhere from six to eight glasses of that chlorinated water through your skin, which of course is your largest organ. And so you don't want that to happen. But here's what happens when we go down to the store and we buy a fruit or a vegetable or whatever it is, and we decide to wash it off. We would normally put that right under the tap. Well, we're going to show you what happens when you do that. Get this nice and chopped up. I'll just give this a nice little bath. There we go, making a mess. Put this right here. Just going to give this a little stir, just like we would. I mean, I know, I know my wife jumps in the bath, and she'll take a nice 15 or 20-minute bath. Well, the good news is that, you know, we have an, a nest spa that we've actually got in our home. So when we bathe, we don't have to bathe in this tap water because this onion now is representing our skin. You know, this onion also, it would be like any of the food that you would decide to run under the tap. And if you do that, watch what happens here. As we pour this out, take a look. What happened to that yellow chlorinated color? You know what happened. It's gone. The reason it's gone is it absorbed right into the onions, which now, of course, we're going to eat. I just put more chlorine drops in there to see how much chlorine's left in that water, and there's none. So what happened when we took our fruits and vegetables and we washed them under the tap? I think you just realized it. We didn't wash the vegetables. We washed the water. We literally cleaned the water, we filtered the water that we let go down the drain, and we put the chlorine and the other chemicals right into the food that we're about to eat. So that right there is pretty dramatic.